would be sad. Everyone wants to look like Michael Jackson. <laughs> so beautiful. I can't be the only one with that fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be ignorant. That's ignorant. <laughs> Poor, poor fucking Michael. Like, I feel so... God, I feel, I feel so fucking bad about... I, I don't know, but I mean, like, I know this is an old fucking topic, but, like, I was so fucking pissed when the media did, like, a 180 about, like, the whole time he was alive, like, he was being tormented with, like, Michael Jackson rapes children, and that wasn't even proven to be true and shit, and everybody was like, I don't know if he did it or not, but, like... But the media was like ridiculing him, but then of course after he's fucking dead, it's like he was the, he was the treasure. He was so misunderstood. And I'm like, oh my god, you fucking pieces of shit. Yeah. Fair weather motherfuckers. Largely yeah, somebody besides me says it now. <laughs> I know it's like largely the reason this motherfucker was even on the shit he was is because of you assholes. And now you're gonna be like, oh, he was such a, an inspiration to the. Yeah, but I mean, okay, but to be fair, to be fair, yeah. the medicine that he was on to sleep. Oh, like I, 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 I heard this guy make the comparison where it was this doctor made the comparison. It's like taking this medicine to sleep is like taking chemo because you're sick of getting a haircut. Right. But the thing is, like, Jackson was that fucked up, though. He had that much shit going on that he needed, like, to be that fucking intoxicated just to sleep at night. Like, think of where he must have fucking been mentally. That's like that's some serious shit. Yeah. So, I mean, and what do you think partially drove, you know, drove him to that? I'm pretty sure the media attention didn't help at all, you know? Oh yeah, no, definitely. That's um. I mean, like it's what like being a rapist is already like fucking. If you're labeled a rapist, you're you're already oh, like. Oh, dude, fuck. no, nowhere is safe. Right, like, as, and if you're a child rapist, that's like a thousand times. You well, get actually, labeled. Well, no, no, now that I actually I say that, no, it's being a rapist. You, you can still be safe in prison. Child rapist, however. Oh no! Oh you're, no no! You are. Dude, they they like they fucking. Right. <laughs> So like your, your initiation in, ugh, your initiation process is they beat you with a fucking sock filled with soda, like right. so soda cans, not like the liquid. That would be silly. Right, like that's the th it's like, th like labeling someone like that is fucking. It's a horrible thing to do, especially if it's not actually supported. <laughs> you know, if there actually isn't evidence to do that. So it's just kind of like. You guys were saying horrible. I, I don't know. I fuck, fuck the media. Just right. <laughs> I mean, I hate. I hate. I hate the paparazzi already. I, I hate the concept oh, of like. I hate the concept of the fucking you know entertainment media already. But <laughs> I don't. I don't take part in it. But Playing unfortunately, it's a fucking my paparazzi. <laughs> That's paparazzi. not part of a song. I'm just making shit up. Oh, okay. I'm trying to contribute because I barely talk, have barely spoken and said anything since. Uh... I'm sorry. Yeah, you know what? I, and I was talking with Paul about this. Anthony, next time we have you on the show or we have any guest on the show, we're probably going to actually have you on when there's actual dialogue and shit because I think it might actually be better for us to just do the temples alone. The reason we started this was because the temples are kind of boring, but then we also run the risk of being in the temples longer than we need to because we're talking and not focusing on it. And then Paul's stuck just completing the temples. <laughs> but yeah, you definitely imprisoned my slave. <laughs> yes, slave has a slave. Also, I've noticed that uh, slave is extremely suicidal in this temple. He has jumped to his death several times. He doesn't care anymore. He fears no one. <laughs> like, okay, that just sort of—I mean, you know—if that didn't happen right there, that just sort of like proved my point. <laughs> okay, yep. so now, now here's the here's the difficult part. Can you beat the boss without wearing the blue tunic? Uh, no. <laughs> pretty sure that's, like, actually impossible. I'm pretty sure somebody can do it, but that's not me. Come on, man. Hard mode. Man mode engage. Let's do this. No. <laughs> I don't know about anybody else, but, uh, this fight is extremely disappointing. <laughs> well, some people, so, so some is, people is it just liked like... it, but then they realized, wait a minute. If I just stand here, no, I'll, I'll show right. you. I'll show you. I'll show you. Later. Yeah. More I mean, feel! I... And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what a vagina looks like in hell. <laughs> <laughs> and yet it's still the best thing to put your penis in. It's... Or in this case, my ex-girlfriend. Ah! Uh... <laughs> oh, dang it. <laughs> my ex-girlfriend? Fucking tell me about her, right? <laughs> oh, my wife? Oh, boy. <laughs> Don't get me started. You're trying it. You're trying to do it hard mode. <laughs> well, I'm trying to. 
See, I would just like swim above it and just drop bombs into its mouth. Well, that's not how you beat it. You have to go for right. the eye. Well, I know, but like if I... It just sucks because it's like, this boss is like, there's no challenge. It's just, I mean, it's a great spectacle. It looks cool, but like, there's really not a whole lot to it. It's just kind of like... And, and now it just, you know, throws out the freaking... Uh, shit, what the... Shit. Oh! The, the, oh. The, the suicide bombers of Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> fucking fish with bot with bombs in the mouth. What kind of physiology is that? Fish. Like, yeah. there's, there's... And, and for that matter, how the hell did the dude in the bomb shop create them, and then they just happen to be like actual an actual thing in nature? Yeah, because they look pretty identical. I, either either the guy in the bomb shop's a really good, uh, really good, really maybe good. Maybe they're uh... just dead bomb fish. Well, right, oh, but here like. We go. But he takes credit for creating it, so it's like, so you're playing God now. Is is, is, is that what's going on here? You selfish yes. son of a bitch. Basically, <laughs> he, he pretends he's two different people in, in his one store. So yeah, he's kind of fucked up a little bit. And on a side note, why the fuck? What? Why is it the eyeball? Like, I'm sorry, I can survive if one of, if my eyes are stabbed out. Yeah, it's stupid, but it's like the most. It's because Nintendo has so few original ideas when it comes to 3D boss battles that they have to throw this shit out constantly. <laughs> Here's an idea. Throw a bomb into its mouth, blow its chest open, and stab its damn heart. There we go. You just made this fight a lot more interesting. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, uh, guys. You think he notices me? <laughs> Where are you? Way right down here. that little tiny man right in the... <laughs> that's not even close to the giant monster. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh. No, that's just a beast empire! <laughs> I finally got to use that line. There you go. It's a good job. You've been waiting all episode to use that, haven't you? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> we, had, we had a whole conversation about it while you were gone. Damn, I wish I could have heard that. Oh, wait! This is the best synchronized swimming I have ever seen. <laughs> Dude, like, like, seriously, if I, were, if, if I were in Ling's position, like, I would latch onto that eyeball, and I would just sit back and fucking, like, wave my hat in the air, just going, yeah, Get on, my shit! Get on! I don't know, like, I feel like this fight, like, to me, just kind of summarizes why I hate so many boss battles in 3D Zelda games, because it's, like, it's so much spectacle and little to no fucking Ooh. substance at all, or strategy, or anything. Oh, like, I know, like, I... I'm not... I'm not saying all, I mean, obviously, of course, not all 3D Zelda boss battles suck. In fact, Majora's Mask has some of the best 3D Zelda boss battles Until in they it. Change. Yeah. Ugh, fuck. So we, wait, hold up, the 3DS boss battles suck? Yes. They added eyeballs. You motherfuckers! I know, dude, it's... Always with the eyeballs! I have no idea, man. How about some fucking, maybe an exposed liver? <laughs> Give me some internal organs! I don't give a shit about the eyeball! Punch it right in his still beating heart, you yeah. know. Rip it out and eat it. Like literally, how awesome would that be if he just like like Ganondorf isn't even the final boss? Or like like he goes up to Zant, right? Or Sanj, I have a fucking pronounce it. And walks up to him and just rips his fucking heart out, eats it, and that's the fucking heart container. Dude, how awesome would that be? Yes! <laughs> Oh my god, that would be fucking badass. <laughs> no, when you when you tied it into the heart container, at first I'm like, okay, it's, that's and then you fucking heart container, I'm like, oh yes, it's like right after it's like you got a heart container. <laughs> There's like blood dripping down your hand as like as you're holding it up. It's it, it just like fucking just two like two twin lines of blood dripping from the corners of your mouth, and Minda's like, God damn! <laughs> <laughs> I gotta start showing you a little more respect. That was pretty awesome! That's, no, seriously, like, if, like right after you rip it out, it's immediately, like, heart container. The music plays. Fucking Link has a smile on his face, all that shit. Like, and even, even Zaj just yeah. sort of, like, just, like, Zaj just got that little bit of electricity left in his brain, just staring at it, like, it's like, goddamn. Go. <laughs> yeah. I really need to pick my enemies better. I like how it falls over. Also, don't you don't notice me, senpai. Oh my god, Paul. <laughs> You're just gonna milk it for all its. Hey, like, I've only used the line like three times, so it's not milking it yet. He I doesn't explode, I would like does to he? milk it, but not, <laughs> there's not enough situations where I can use it. Please tell me the fish doesn't explode. 
No, just his uh, eye. Well, actually, yeah, I think he does explode. I think his individual yeah. segments. Oh, does he? Boom. Boom. Yep, he explodes. Not for the rest of it. Boom, 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 no, boom, no, he boom, literally boom. exploded. Well, that's what all the bosses do in this game. They burst into twilight and then do that shit. But because they're, not... they're, they're manifestations of the few shadows. Oh, yeah. right, right. So it makes okay. sense in this game. It would be interesting to see more corpses in Legend of Zelda. <laughs> oh, there it is. The last few shadow. Well, like, like for, for example, one thing that I really liked about Majora's Mask is he literally would keep parts, he would keep the faces of the enemies he has killed. He's like, yeah. oh, you're dead. I'm just, let me cut off your face <laughs> and just, and shrinky dink that shit. <laughs> <laughs> If you can link it, you can drink it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, and the, the worst part though is like, I really wish that for, like, why you could not wear the boss masks after you killed them was a mystery. Like, it would have just been so cool just to just walk around and fuck with the, with the locals. Like, you, you wear the Valu mask, or not the Valu, Jesus, um, the uh, Ottawa mask, or whatever the dude's name is, Don't and go in with the fucking Deku. Like, I am Ottawa and I've come for revenge. They're like, oh fuck! <laughs> Well, the, the thing is, I don't think anyone else has seen the bosses except you. So. Yeah, but know. the Deku's, don't they talk about Ottawa? No. I could have sworn they did. Also, we got a cutscene coming up and a very special character making an appearance. Oh, God. You all right there? This kid just spazzing out. You shaking? <laughs> you, you, you excited for what's about to come, Tiberpa? Is that what's going on? I could be. 